You're here because your diagnostics this far has led you to suspect the mechanical condition of the engine. When the engine is running rough, it has an idle problem. It misses or has low power, you want to check its mechanical condition. If possible, a quick check of the timing belt may offer clues as what your next step should be. Use any diagnostic clues that you have gathered so far to help you select the first test. There are some rules that may help you. You must do a cranking compression before a running compression test because you're going to compare the readings to each other. And you need to remember that an engine that is running poorly will have low manifold vacuum. You can use a vacuum measurement to help you decide how poorly the engine is running. A good place to begin is by looking at the map signal in scan data and then comparing it to specifications. In this example, our spec is 1.0 to 1.7 volts. Analyze the reading in your scan data that you get on the map sensor. 1.7 volts equal 18 inches of vacuum if you're at sea level. 1 volt, 21 inches of vacuum at sea level. A normal running engine runs between 18 and 21 inches of vacuum. Analyze the reading and scan data. One volt tells us that the engine has a strong vacuum at idle. Vacuum is an overall health check. When manifold vacuum is normal at idle but is too low during off-idle operation, check for excessive EGR flow timing problems. And that would be a running compression test or looking at the belts. Poor engine operation caused by fuel or ignition may be the cause. On newer engines, a map of one volt may be possible, but not with high mileage vehicles. There isn't a magic mileage that causes the engine to vacuum to drop suddenly. What condition is the vehicle in? Has it been maintained or not? Look at this back seat. Do you think this engine has been maintained as well as the back seat? If you have reason to believe the map signal isn't correct, measure engine vacuum. Use your experience when it comes to deciding what test to do. High mileage vehicles should always get cranking and running compression tests. Poor running engines, you want to check engine vacuum. And you can do it with the map sensor if you want to. And then do cranking and running compression tests. Crank but no start. A cranking compression test is a great place to start. Low power, you want to start with engine vacuum. And then cranking and running compression test as well as timing test. Engine mechanical problems look like any other drivability problem. Remember. Fuel and ignition and mechanical problems can have the same symptoms. Perform the mechanical test to eliminate them as a cause. 